My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid fried chicken popcorn, get whatever you may need! And I hope you enjoy the video. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about, baby boys. NBA playoffs. They're back. And I've been watching a whole lot of basketball. My brothers and sisters, you gang. NBA playoffs are here, man. Uh, ongoing thing. I've been watching, especially on not Sunday, but on Saturday. Oh my! I think I watched every basketball game on Saturday. Like I was like, God, I, I haven't watched this much this much basketball in a while. But I was watching like every game that day. I am so glad to see fans back at like these games. Like again, during all the COVID stuff and everything, sports in general, you really started to realize like how much like the crowds matter like with the whole wrestling stuff and like when you like watch you know wrestling and then the crowds was not there just like <coughs> it's like wow this is kind of a kind of lame <laughs> of course we you know go go to these games and watch these athletes and sports you know to see them put on their skill set you know uh against the best players in the world and stuff like that but a lot of really what makes sports like really exciting is the fans and you really start to notice that once the fans were taken away so that's first off I'm, I'm i'm so glad to see the fans back like playoff games with actual fans there the bubble was cool last year it it turned out better than i thought but just to have the fans back man oh my especially that new york knicks game Let's get into just uh, the teams that are playing in the uh, first round. Western Conference, you got Utah versus Memphis. Memphis won that game, uh, what, yesterday? Uh, so Memphis is up 1-0. Uh, the, <laughs> the Clippers. <laughs> Imagine still being a Clippers fan in 2021. <laughs> Denver and Portland, and Portland is up 101. That I think losing Jamal Murray is going to be huge for Denver, especially like when they really need like a bucket. Jamal Murray, you know, I mean, Denver is still great, you know, but you know, losing Jamal Murray, that's like what 20 plus, get it like 25 plus points, you know. So I actually think Portland is going to win this series. Phoenix and the freaking Lakers. <laughs> I do think Lakers are going to win this series. I do think, I feel like it's going to be like maybe a six game series. I do think Phoenix is going to win again. Um, Hopefully Chris Paul is not like really injured because he got hurt in that like last game in a, the a first game. Um, Based on if Chris Paul, you know, is good to go for the rest of the series or not, whatever like that. Anthony Davis or A or A Disney. This is a good like, I just don't understand how you 6'10", 6'11", and you take nothing but jump shots. Like, I know he's not like a, you know, a through and through center and he, and I got the freaking hiccups, but, and he's not like, you know, a banger in the post like that, but bro, you can't be 6'10", 6'11", and you are no, like when Anthony Davis plays in the paint, he's known to like get buckets. So it's not like he can't, like, it's not like he doesn't have like a post game. He does. It inf I'm not even a Lakers fan. It infuriates me when I see this other taking nothing but threes and 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 uh, jump shots. LeBron might have to get a little bit more aggressive in other series and not be the play the uh, playmaker. He might have to score a little bit more. I I do feel like Lakers still will beat Phoenix, but I am rooting for a, a Phoenix to win this series. But I just think Lakers at the end of the day got too much experience and just more talent. Uh, at the end of the day, but yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm not as conf, I don't, I'm not as confident in the Lakers making it to the finals this year as I was last year. Let's put it like that. Um, going back to the whole Dallas and Clippers junk, man, I honestly feel like, again, if Chris Stapps, but like this sucker, like you, like you can have wind blow, blow by Chris Stapps and this sucker will like, like break his, I don't know. <laughs> something will get injured on this thing. Like, Chris Stapps is like a injury prone player, but there's a reason why they called this sucker the unicorn. 
he is a really good good player man uh yeah luca does his stuff and things like that and i do think luca is better than chris Stapps, but when chris Stapps is healthy let's not act like that man is not a baller so if you know if dallas can stay healthy stuff like that and even if chris Stapps, you know gets injured i just feel like dallas is going is going to win this series i think dallas is the better team and there's i've seen nothing from the clippers that you know makes me confident in them you know this year that i didn't see from them like last year the clippers are the same team from last year they just have a different coach Ty Lu, okay, wow, finals, no. <laughs> so I actually think Dallas is gonna win this series, uh, and they could have took it last year again. The whole Utah and Memphis, um, I didn't even know Don, I, I didn't even know Donovan Mitchell was injured. I didn't know he wasn't playing until like the first game was going on yesterday. Uh, I don't know how long he's going to be out, but uh, hey, Memphis, man. Memphis might be a shocker this year. I think they might get a little further than people thought. I actually feel like Memphis is going to take this series. I really do. I know Utah is the number one seed in the West, but like, I don't know. I, I don't feel like no team is actually scared of the Jazz. You know, and if Don and if Donovan Mitchell, I don't know how long he's going to be out for, but if he's not playing. I feel like Memphis is, is going to shock a lot of people this year. You know, they beat the uh, freaking Warriors, even though I kind of wanted to see Steph Curry in the playoffs. The uh, Steph Sexuals out there wanted to see Steph in the playoffs. But look what they did against the, uh, you know, gold, you know, against gold, uh, against Golden State. You know, so I actually feel like Memphis is going to shock people this year. Going to the East. Uh, you got Philly and Washington. At the end of the day, I, you know, I'm a Westbrook fan, and I like Bradley Beal as well. I just don't think they have enough to beat Philly. They they have no answer for Joel Embiid. There's, there, there's just no answer. I don't feel like – I feel like no team really has an answer for Joel Embiid. Um, and Ben Simmons, I mean, he still ain't got a shot, but, you know, he's still Ben Simmons, <laughs> you know, so – at the end of the day, I like Westbrook and stuff like that, but, you know, Westbrook doesn't really have a lot of success in the playoffs since Durant left him. Um, and, yeah, I just feel like at the end of the day, Philly is going, is going to be a little bit too much for the Wizards to handle. I think Philly is going to win this in, like, five or six games. Uh, New York Knicks versus Atlanta. I actually feel like this series is going to go seven games. I feel like this is really going to be the series to watch in the East. The New York Knicks versus Atlanta. Did y'all see that game yesterday? No, oh, the Knicks ain't freaking been in the playoffs since, like, Bush was in office. So now that they finally in the playoffs and, like, Knicks fans got something to cheer for, these suckers were saying, F Trey Young, F Trey Young. Trey Young made that game when it said, hey, it's quiet as hell in here. <laughs> okay, Trey Young, okay. <laughs> Trey Young is a baller, man. Trey Young is a baller. That man could definitely ball out. I feel like this is going to be the, the best, not even just series in like the East. I feel like for the first round, I feel like this is going to be like the best series. New York Knicks versus Atlanta. I feel like this series is going to go seven games. It's going to be fun to watch. Um, And I think... Uh, I'm actually going with the Knicks to win this series. I'm actually going with the Knicks. I just feel like as, as, as much of a baller as Trey Young is, I feel like Knicks got a little bit more experience. You know, they got Derrick Rose. D. Rose, when, when healthy, can still ball out. You know, he is a vet now. You know, I feel like Julius Randle, we had a bad game one, but I don't feel like he's going to keep that up. I feel like, feel like he's wanting to play better. I actually feel like the Knicks is going to win this in a tough, fought-out seven-game series. The Knicks are actually going to have some type of playoff success. Crazy. <laughs> so I actually am taking the Knicks in this series. My series, really the series that matters for me. Milwaukee versus Miami. I ain't going to go on for this long rant, whatever, like that. We should have took game one. I don't know what was going on with Jimmy and especially Bam. Because even though Jimmy was playing bad last game, at least he made that, you know, uh, final second layup to get it to O to get it to OT. Bam, on the other hand, I don't know if this sucker forgot that he has like a jump shot 
or that he's like a good post player. But Bam was playing way too passive for me in 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 that first game. I'm like, bro, does Bam not realize like <clears throat> like I don't know if y'all remember how Bam was playing in the playoffs last year in the bubble. I don't know. Well, I'm like, bro, why is this man like playing so passive and like always like looking like he just acting like he couldn't do nothing with? I'm like, bro, you're Bam. He's like he's our second best player and sometimes first best player. I I need Bam to be more aggressive. I need Jimmy to be more aggressive because if those two played even even slightly better in game one we win that game easily milwaukee i said the same junk last year Mil I, milwaukee does not scare me like at all i am not scared of the bucks i said this last year i'ma say it again when Giannis gets to the nba playoffs all that junk he does during the uh, uh season to where he be like this and just chimping through the lane and you know <laughs> dunk it or laying it up that junk don't work in a, the uh a playoffs and he does the same thing he goes like <clears throat> he tries to that junk ain't gonna work in the playoffs Giannis he's one of the, he's one of those players that he's a good reg he's a good regular season player but I feel like his whole game is like pre is 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 predicated to his athleticism really i don't really feel like he has a lot of skill he he doesn't have a consistent jump shot yet like that you know he's really not that good at the free throw line he's not like trash but he's not like that good at the free throw line yana is like when he can't do his you know chimp to the lane spin around dunk or layup he's really not a playoff player to me like that so bucks do not scare me i'm more scared of chris Middleton really than Giannis when it comes to the playoffs. I'm being completely serious, you know. So, but again, Goran Dragic was playing like a, a beast in that, you know, Duncan Rob, a uh, Duncan Robinson, the white Steph Curry. He was doing his thing. If Jimmy and Bam played even slightly better, that game really should really should have been a blowout for us. But we lost that game. So, yeah. Hopefully, if Jimmy and Bam can get it together for the rest of of uh, of the series i feel like miami should take this again like again the bucks do not scare me at all last series uh brooklyn and boston um i feel like brooklyn is going to take this series a lot of people just think brooklyn is just going straight to the finals and no one has a shot i don't look at brooklyn like that brooklyn has a lot of offense but these suckers play like little to no defense so their whole game is like can you outscore them and that is tough because they got Kevin Durant, <laughs> James Harden, and Kyrie. God, Lord, you try to double uh, Durant, you've got to worry about Harden and Kyrie. You try to double Kyrie, you got to worry about Durant and Harden. You try to double Harden, you got to... I feel like if you can play physical with Brooklyn and you can, like, somehow keep, you know... I feel like the best chance... Honestly, you've got of shutting one of their players down is honestly. Harden. As strange as that sounds, I do think Harden is a better offensive player a little bit than Kyrie. But Harden is known to kind of, you know, have those choke moments in like the playoffs. And I feel like you have a better chance at, you know, kind of messing with him than messing with Kyrie because Kyrie like he can get busy in the biggest of moments and he's proven that and Durant like Durant is so weird to me like it be seeming like he don't be doing nothing during these games and then when, when the game is over he has like 30 points I'm like bro I don't <laughs> I'm like bro I don't even feel like this man was doing nothing but then once the game is over he has like he has like 30 and 8 like every time <laughs> I'm like I don't know how he does it like the most efficient player I've Ever, i've ever seen so durant is going to do what durant does and boston does not have a brown so that's going to hurt them you know you can't just rely on tatum and kimball walker the fact i i i think they they assigned that scrub to uh <laughs> they, they signed that man to a four year like 140 million dollars bro kimba is looking worse than when the celtics had hayward like as much as he gets paid and he was like an actual, like, they used to call him a mini Kyrie when he was in Charlotte. I don't know what happened to Kimba as soon as he touched Boston, but he is not playing the same at all. He is just, man, 
<laughs> so if Kimba can step up a little bit, especially because the Celtics don't have Brown right now, because it can't just be be a Tatum. But I do feel like I, I feel like this will be like maybe like a five six game series, you know. But I do feel like Brooklyn will win this series as well. But yeah, it, it, as far as like Brooklyn just like destroying all of the teams and getting to the finals and winning. I really feel like because they don't play defense like that and because their game is more so like, hey, who's going to outscore who? Stuff like that. I feel like if, if if a team can play physical with the Nets and kind of just keep the game close, you can beat the Nets. I don't look at the Nets the same way other people do. Like, yes, they have a lot of offensive talent, but that's it. You know, and even when the Heat made their big three with Wade, LeBron, and Bosh, we didn't win our first year. We freaking lost to Dallas because of LeBron, but we lost to Dallas, you know? So, yeah, that's how I I, I I feel like the first round is going to play out. I feel like Memphis is going to beat the Jazz. I feel like Memphis is going to shock people this year. I feel like Dallas is going to beat the Clippers. The Clippers, to me, are just a joke, bro. Like, Kawhi, he should have... He Kawhi... He should have never left uh, Toronto. <laughs> he really should have, bro. Because, man, it just ain't looking good. Uh, Port, uh, Portland and Denver, I feel like Portland's going to win that series just because Denver does not have uh, Jamal Murray. I feel like uh, L.A. is going to beat Phoenix. I just feel like uh, L.A. will get it together, and they're going to have too much for Phoenix, even though I want Chris Paul to, you know, get a ring, whatever. Uh, Philly versus Washington, I feel like Philly has too much for uh, Westbrook and Beal with Joel and B. New York Knicks and Atlanta Hawks. I feel like that's going to be the series, but I feel like it's going to be a set a, a, a seven game series, and Knicks win that. Uh, Milwaukee versus Miami. All it literally all it takes is Bam and Jimmy just doing what they are accustomed to doing. But like Milwaukee will lose this in probably six or seven games. Um, and Brooklyn versus Boston. I just feel like Brooklyn got just a little bit too much, and Boston got some players out, stuff like that. Brooklyn will win that. So, yeah, that's for the first round. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see some more of this. And if any of my viewers that like playing, I mean, that like watching basketball and talking about this junk, if y'all want to be in for the future rounds, let me know. And, yeah, man, catch you guys in my next video. I think the Heat play tonight. Jimmy, bam. Come on now. Let's do it. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Yeah.